Well, uh, this is my $20 launch pad. Actually, it's more than that. That eight foot rod cost about, you know, three, four times that. But uh, look at this. This is the blast from the engine. Well, there's something on here. Did it, did it hit here and all go out? Yeah, it was supposed to. That's what it did. It, uh, the blast came down. It was deflected out this way. Because look, look at the, look at the, uh, the flat. It's all blown away from the pad. Is this your screw? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Is that my screw? Yeah. I don't know what from. It's a countersunk screw. Well, it's here, hey. Yeah, that's all. The blast was deflected this way. Yeah, that's my screw. Come to think of it. I know where it came from. Oh, that held the lug on. That, that, held, that held the lug on. The blast blasted it all that way. Look at that. It's even way out there. I think Notch Peak moved. <laughs> <laughs> the whole earth is off by about a hundredth of a degree. And your and your igniter is way over there. I don't know if I like these uh, extreme pressure short burst engines. <laughs> it seems like I'd rather have an engine that ran longer. Yeah, so, longer burn time where it goes So, uh, you know, when you're still 100 feet in the air, it's still burning. This engine was done burning before the, it cleared the launch rail. I'm looking for the lug. Yeah, this screw is what held on the lug. Yeah. I don't think this moved. Who knows where the lug is? <laughs> I don't know if this was designed. This kind of blast deflection was designed for that. <laughs> oh, so that's why everybody buys four hundred dollar launch pads. <laughs>